How's it going, everybody? Game Reviews here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omicron Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we actually got ourselves a full team finally. Hooray! You know, uh, time for celebration. Really just happened. Uh, in between last episode and this episode, I did grind every Pokemon on the team to, level to at least level 15. So now we have a uh, better built team, which I'm very happy about. And in this episode, we're going to go to that mansion that the uh, old-timer gentleman person that we did just battle last episode talked about to catch up another Pokemon. So, we'll go into this cave area. Uh, be sure to an answer the question of the day, which is, what is your favorite Hoenn-type Pokemon? Oh, what? Very cool. I'm pretty sure this might be a new area as well. Um, so, I'm blowing up. My favorite Pokemon is Swampert. Thank you, Swampert! We got ourselves a mud kit! <laughs> awesome! So, the reason why I like Swampert the most is because I did start with Mudkip in Generation 3. It was my starter Pokemon. I loved it very much. And Swampert was just a really cool design Pokemon. And it made it even better with its Mega Evolution in Generation 6, where it became all beefed up and, you know, muscular and everything. So, yeah. I do wonder uh, if this game is going to have, uh, have Mega Evolutions, actually. Only time will tell. But just like that, we did catch Mudkip. So, it's the Mudfish Pokemon. Um, I was kind of hoping that was going to fit. Go for it. Alright. So, we're going to name it Wake after uh, Crasher Wake, who is the, uh, who is the water-type gym leader, I believe, in Sinnoh. And right now, uh, Wake did go to our box. It's up in the air if Wake will actually be a, value, be actually be a usable Pokemon, since I do consider this being a different route. Area, so it all depends on how it comes up when looking at the description. So yeah, also, I think I just saw a first look at a Team Olympus grunt, so looks like we have more fun going into this area than I initially thought. Awesome. So, like always, I'm always gonna uh, ignore all the uh, wild Pokemon and everything. And you know what? Uh, let's go over to here. I'm fine, actually. Um, but yeah, so if Wake is a valid Pokemon, that means we have seven Pokemon now, which means we can actually, you know, change up the team if needed. Uh, go over here. Got ourselves a great ball. Awesome. Very nice. And then, okay, this, this maze is really starting to get annoying. <laughs> but you can't complain about this music, though, right? No, you can't. All right, let's see what you, what you say, uh, person. Let you through? Ha! I only let you through if Zeus himself gets defeated. Okay, so good to know that we're not even supposed to be in this area yet. Thank you, old man, for telling me to come here. So I'm just going to pause it now, and I'll see you guys uh, outside the cave where we started. All right, and we are back out of that cave, and we're going to go back to the area where we where we in the last episode, I guess, uh, where... That new city area, there might have been a gym there, I'm not sure, but I do feel like we're going to get some progression and story content now, which is good. Because uh, that grunt did mention if Zeus will let us through, which I'm assuming Team Olympus, I'm pretty sure Zeus is going to be the leader. Maybe, because it sounds like they're, yeah, yeah, Olympus is Greek, Zeus is the main Greek god. So yeah, awesome. And while we're actually here, we're going to take a look at that Muskip, sorry, uh, we're going to look at Wake, to see if Wake is actually a valid was a valid Pokemon. So, press the wrong button. No. We're gonna go over to move. Why is Wake in the death box? I'm so sorry, Wake, you're not dead yet. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Uh, summary. We're gonna go over to descriptions. Uh, Midnight Mansion Extension. So let's look at all of our other Pokemon. I'm pretty sure uh, Winnie was the last one we found. On you in Route 305, 304, 303, Midnight Way, 302. Okay, so Wake is a valid catch. Awesome. So we're just going to keep... Um, hmm. You know what, actually? I do want Wake in the party. Or never mind. No, I really don't because we already do have Wallach right now. So it'll be pointless to have two different water type Pokemon. So we'll leave you in the PC for right now as backup when we need it. Uh, what do you say? The best day of my life. I caught a Magic Card. Oh, wow. I'm so happy, Anne. I'm a failure, aren't I? No, it's okay. Uh, at least you didn't try selling me a magic card for 500 Poké Dollars. Bug is super effective against grass. Maybe I can get advance an advantage against Gideon, the gym leader then. 
So, it sounds like this enemy is going to be grass type. Good to know. Let's continue uh, seeing what else is in the town area. What do you have to say? I'm so hip. All my Pokemon are underground. Oh, you have to say, buddy? I feel bad for Gideon. He was quite the famous actor in his day. He even had an exhibit at our museum. And now he just mopes around. It's a bit depress depressing, really. That doesn't make him any less of a gym leader, though. Well, that's very upsetting, actually. And hello! I see some more grunts. This house is oddly empty. It goes off a strange chill. Do I interact with the TV? TV is giving out a strange static noise. The static is morphing into words. What gives you the right to disturb me? Do you know who I am? I'm assuming this is Rodom, so yes. Do you know? Who am I then? Again, Rodom. You are correct, but how? No matter. I cannot let you leave here alive. Oh, snap. So we do get another surprise encounter. And it's a sand true. Very cool. Um, you hmm, know what? Hey, another Pokemon. Another Pokemon I'm just going to catch. Good to know that we did have... I mean, it's good to know that, you did go, that I did go exploring all these different routes. Uh, so let's see here. We're just going to throw a ball right now. And hopefully it works. We shall see, though. See, alright, you got yourself, there's a bing. And see, so you got one, two, three, bing. Awesome, cool. So, I'm going to go think of a name for Sandshrew. I really still want to kind of keep it in line with gym leaders. So, I really need to look up what kind of ground type gym leaders there were. I'll be right back. Alright, and just like that, we're back. And we're going to nickname this Sandshrew Giovanni. After, uh, you know, the... Uh, Team Rocket Leader, along with, uh, who's also the ground type gym leader, actually, for Pokemon. And that was a very real cut right there. I'm really sorry about that. That was actually part of the game. It had nothing to do with the, uh, audio recording of all that. Um, what do you have to say? We're trying to steal an ancient artifact. Get lost, kid. You? We're trying to steal an ancient artifact. Get lost, kid. All right, bye. But okay, we'll go back there soon enough. I just want to go through all this list. We got the Poke Gear. Okay. I shouldn't leave yet. There's still things to do in Omega Town. Okay, that's the town we're in. It's Omega Town. Good to know. What? What was that? I think that was just flying over there. I'll see you again in post record in post editing. But yeah, uh, I'm running around making a mess of the place. Me too! Yay! Let's run together! Yay! What do you have to say? My grandkids are running around and making a mess of the place. I wish the parents would come would come home soon. My grandpa is so big. Fur is so soft. I'm playing Pokemon League Green. I chose Bulbasaur as my starter. He's the best. I, oh okay, seriously, what was that thing that just flew over here? Unless I was seeing something. I don't really know. Uh, hello, can it? Oh, it must have been a Pidgeot. That's cool. Hello, can I ask you for a few questions? Sure. What is your name? Gamer. What a lovely name. Gamer. This question is about the Superior City Gym. Did you find the Battle of Devon difficult? Nope. What would you say was toughest Pokemon? You didn't have any of these Pokemon! Can I select, can I select Heatran? Can I select Heatran? Please find really. Hmm, interesting. You think Devin's a good gym leader? Yeah, I would think so. Oh, I'll also give you these answers back to HQ. Thanks for your time, gamer. Here, have this. We got a great ball. Awesome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Um, what do you have to say here? Be quiet. I'm making a documentary. Okay, and you kid? Have you heard of Gideon? He was a cool actor once, but then he got injured and he works at the gym now. You should go fight him. Indeed we will. Oh, Negaton, what a beautiful place. There are flowers everywhere and some legends even say that Shaman once lived here. Lived here. Awesome. And it looks like we just clipped through that door right there. Good to know. Uh, I moved here from the Cancel region. I feel so alone. I love shopping. Potions, antidotes, this store has it all. And see anything new here we could buy? Um, does not look like it. Still looks like the same kind of stuff we could usually buy. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna purchase anything right now, but thank you though. Could we go into the, is this Safari Zone right here? Let's see. We have to say, Oi, trainer! Oi, trainer! This is Safari Zone. Just for 500 Poke, you can cruise the wild grassy areas of the Vezrin region, eh? What do you say? Sure. That'll be 500 Poke Dollars, please. We only use special kind of Pokeball here. We receive 30 Pokeballs. Safari Balls. Awesome. We'll call you on PA when time runs out. You can throw a Rocks Pokemon to lower the health. Well, I wish you the best of luck. 
thank you. So let's start, I guess, exploring and everything. Uh, the Safari Zone is such a cool place. I can't find Pokemon I've never seen, I've never even seen before. And what do you have to say? Uh, I'm really focused on finding. I need Pokemon for my daughter. We live in Fianga City. Oh, I need to go there next. And, oh, cool. So this is our encounter then. Our encounter is a Grand Bowl. Very nice. Um, so I was told hitting a, throwing a rock at it will make it lose HP. There goes our encounter. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, sorry. Oh my God, that's so annoying. I do not really like how that was the encounter for this part. Oh well. Um, what do you have to say? I heard there was a legendary Pokemon hidden somewhere in each Safari Zone. Apparently, each zone's legendary is what attracts all the strange Pokemon here. You better believe I'll catch the one. There are legendaries in the Safari Zone area. Huh. Good to know. Uh, maybe if I find a cool Pokemon, I can finally join the Rangers. Maybe. I mean, I came across Granbo and it fled immediately. Let's find ourselves a combi. Oh, man. I would love the combi. Combi, combi. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Sorry, people. Uh, the Pokemon in here are so interesting. Must refresh urge to science. That, that came out very robotic. Oh, hey, look. We got ourselves a Bulldor. You know, we have a Giga Lift. So, I'm going to use that as a scenario. So, there's a thing called the Dupe Clause. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before. If not, here it is now. The idea of a dupe clause says that um, uh, that if you encounter the same Pokemon in the same evolutionary line, then you can dupe clause it. So uh, that's, what I, that's what I would do if that would ever happen. Uh, the power of thunder is the legendary, legendary who inhabits the zone will be mine. What's up, Glamia? Whitney loves this tune so much that Whitney is singing it. I hope we can find some cool Pokemon before I run out of time. So different zones. Does that mean we have different Safari zone areas? I don't know. Uh, starting things multiple times makes you right. Dating things multiple times makes you right. Dating things multiple times makes you right. Dating things multiple times makes you right. Very true, it does. I wish you luck, young one. May you find whatever you are looking for. Stating things multiple times makes you right. Stating things multiple times makes you right. Stating things. <laughs> Why do we have the same NPC twice? I do not understand. Oh, hey, gamer. It's me, Jeremy. Look for Pokemon? Yeah, I am, actually. You know, the Pokemon that fled. What is your opinion on major modern sociopolitical issues such as postmodern feminism and the economy? Not going to get political on this page. I'm sorry. Real quick, back. Uh, yeah, I want to leave. Uh, I'm all for equal rights. 100%. But yeah, I, I don't think it's ever a really good idea to go political. Go political. Yeah. Please insert any survival balls you may have left. Okay, take all three of them back. That was a waste of my time. Uh, is everybody healed up? Because we're about going to that museum. Okay, whatever, Whitney. You have three HP less. Less. Whatever, we gotta go stop up. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, kid, get out of here. Let the grown-ups handle this. Ooh, looks like we have some battles now with against Team Olympus Grunts. Yep, Team Olympus Grunts. They just look like they're, uh... Uh, copy-pasted, uh, Rocket Grunts from Gen 3, which is fine. You know, it's just different color and everything. Against a Tortuga, yeah, Tortuga, I want to make sure I was pronouncing her name right. I'm going to switch out to Erica because uh, Tortuga is a rock water type. So, and there's that effect spore at work, like I mentioned earlier. I think I mentioned earlier, right? I, I don't really know, sorry. I Some of the days and recordings just really kind of go hand in hand and everything. I generally forget what I talked about before. Most of the time, anyways. I do remember some of the big stuff. And so yeah, we beat the uh, Olympus Grunts. The boss won't be happy. I agree. I I do think the boss won't be happy. Why do you want to kick us out? I just want to learn about fossils and archaeology. Well, that's fine and everything, but you can't really do anything illegal with it. Like, you know, steal fossils. And Saracosa! Legendaries! Why? Why do Grunts have legendaries? Oh well. So... Uh, let's see, Rayquaza, Flying type, Dragon type, do you have anything that could really stand up against it? Fortunately not, so Janine, you're coming out front because you're, you have the highest level and everything. Twister, okay, that's not going to deal that much damage. Okay, good. Um, let's go with Strength, actually, yeah. Physical attack and everything, and, okay, yeah. This is why I, again, this is just another example as to why I decided to push back on that, uh, no healing during battles rule. This is just another example of that. Thankfully, I do have Pokemon strong enough to actually take this kind of stuff on 
and so yeah, we beat Rayquaza in the these split. Whitney's level 16, and Janine is level 24. Awesome. So we got a Moonstone, though. I really want a Nidoqueen. Queen. Like, once we get the Nidoqueen, Queen, I feel like it'll be much better. Don't get me wrong at all. I still really do like Janine as a Nidorina. I still like Nidorina. Janine's seriously been, like, the, the MVP of our team uh, all the way through so far. We have to say. Perfect. Someone want someone to test out my new super awesome rare Pokemon. What kind of super awesome rare Pokemon are we talking about here, uh, Team with the Scrunch? Azumarill! Why? Just why? Alright, Erica, it's time for you to shine again. <laughs> why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> I don't like it. Do not like it at all. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go in for a uh, Mega Drain. You know, um, okay, not bad at all. Still doing some damage and everything. At least I know we have a diverse set of Pokemon to where these battles won't be that bad, but I really hope you guys do see that the level cap of 15 where I wanted, wanted all the Pokemon to be at as of now was understandable. We're going against Pokemon level 13, 14. I, if I had to guess, I'm going to say that uh, the gym leaders probably have level 20. And most level 20, probably, just the way how level progression is currently looking like. And we took down that person's uh, super rare awesome Pokemon. The boss won't be happy. Nope. Boss will not be happy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why that keeps happening. And, oh, hello. Uh, you'll never defeat Team Olympus. And then we're going against another Grunt. So we're going against a Seal here. Why is it always the Pokemon that I can't actually battle against when I first Pokemon out, I always have to swap them out? I'm sorry, Flannery, I'm trying to give you some some, some time to shine in this episode, but it's not possible. Right now, Erica is the one that's getting most of the attention. And just like that, Erica might actually have to switch out as well eventually. Oh well. Keep it going, keep it going. Also, I really hope everybody's enjoying their quarantine so far. Uh, I'm trying to keep staying myself. <laughs> you know, th thankfully YouTube and doing side projects and everything, doing all that fun stuff has really helped me out with keeping my sanity. And we're level 16. And we defeated uh, Team Olympus Scrum. The boss won't be happy. We got 650 from that battle. Awesome. So, we're going to save that battle for uh, the other end of it just because I want to go through the rest of these battles. Hey, you're not allowed here. Get out of my face. So, you know, so I'm actually going to pause it here, and I'll see you guys once all this is done. And I think I really want to try to get some story progression going on. So once we get to, you know, that main final part or whatever, then I'll see you guys there. All right, and we are back. Just finished battling the rest of those grunts, and now let's move on forward. Let's see here. We have to say. We have to say. Oh, hey, got their attention. Hey, you, this is no place for kids. Get lost now. No, you say? Fine. Athena, deal this impeded child. Yes, sir. Bring it on, kid. All right, cool. So we have our battle against Athena. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, sorry about that very uh, brief, very hopefully brief interruption anyways. Um, what I'm happening, uh, just got a call about uh, what kind of kombucha I wanted. By the way, kombucha is delicious. I highly recommend it if you've never drinking it before. All right, cool. So we're going to get Athena. She sends out a total dial. So shouldn't be a bad... Uh, Hard bad at all for our uh, Whitney to take down. Let's see here, come on! Oh, going for a bite against us! Ooh, jerk! Yeah, I mean, you really didn't miss much, honestly, in terms of battles. The probably the biggest one I really liked was battling against the Blaziken, but I mean, uh, Roxanne took it down, no, no sweat at all. All right, cool. Beat Totodile down first. And then next up is Arbok. So, Arbok, do I have any ground type moves? Yes, I do, actually. Thanks to Roxanne, I do. So now, uh, a nice little Roxanne now. And then, we're going to just use the mud slap. <laughs> mud slap. <laughs> Except, you know, when Glare does paralyze us and everything, very unfortunate timing. Let's see here. Uh, headbutt, maybe? 
may probably be the better bet, and that that just shows how good uh, Mud Slap is, you know, lower accuracy and everything, you're, you're going to miss some attacks. Although, level 18 from an admin, I definitely think we're going to have to deal with some level, like, at most level 20 for uh, um, the next gym battle. So, I'm not going to be grinding up at all between this episode and the next one. Just because I want to kind of make it a little bit challenging. Not, not, not too challenging, you know, just a little bit. Everything and then, yeah, so, uh, the, you know, this will go much better if uh, Roxanne wasn't currently paralyzed at the moment, but what are you going to do? Must slap again. Please give me an XD drop, thank you. None. Okay, but I, 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 I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you, uh, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, cool. Arbok fainted. And I'm going to actually switch out Roxanne because paralysis and everything with this battle go by as fast as possible. Shup it. So, shup it, shup it, shup it. Uh, Flannery. Maybe, I don't know. Did Wallach, ha Does Wallach have a dark type move? I don't think so. I, I know Whitney does, but I don't really want to put Whitney in right now against anything. I just noticed the Tino Sprite. It's weird. Um, oh, cool. I do know Lick, actually. Awesome. So, super effective attack. That's with a crit, though. So, he's got paralysis. Okay, cool. I got paralysis. Can't complain about that. Really? That, that little bit left. Oh, come on, Flannery. I know you can finish it off. There we go. Awesome. We got another KO. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to the next gym battle, though. Alright, we beat Olympus Commander Athena. You don't know what you're messing with, kid. Are you sure about that? I mean, we did just beat you. Hmm, no matter. We have we have what we came for. The Time Caller. You've proven you... We have... You have proven you are a threat of, to your, our cause. Watch as we catch a legendary Pokemon become unstoppable. What? Did, did I just teleport out of there? Uh, since you defeated my assistant, you proved yourself worthy to watch Team... Olympus rise to power. Zebulai, use a time caller. They just brought back Shaman. It's Shaman. Amazing. The time caller was successful in calling Shaman from another time. Now go, Master Ball. Excellent. Shaman is ours. The legendary Pokemon Purity. Soon the most powerful Pokemon in the world will belong to us, and we will be unstoppable. Now stay out of our way, or next time I may not react so. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Kind of missed that part. Was he here before? The Scott model here before? I don't think so. Hey, I gotta talk to you. Have you heard of the Vestrian Spear? Apparently the trainers there are so tough, even in Team, Olymp Team Olympus stays away. Huh, good to know. So, I think that's gonna do it for an episode today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.